All right, man, talk to talk. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, man. Good morning. I hope y'all had yourself a good night last night. How y'all doing? Good morning. I know, I know some of y'all don't like to see my face in the morning because I'll be on some book sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be on some book. Well, look, today we're going to talk about Elliot Wilson. He came out and said some things about the nominations, uh, the nomination of, of Not Like Us. And uh, yeah, man, I thought it was uh, pretty interesting what he said. And we're going to get into it. Before I get into that, you know I got to get a legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, I'm the king of the north over here. If you like the content, Please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. Single sexy ladies, I need to see y'all. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is right here on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers, almost 12,200 subscribers, actually. And uh, yeah, man, thank y'all for being here with me. Let me know where you from. You know, I really appreciate it. And I just want to say this. You don't have to donate. It's all good. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was, I, You know, I just put it out there just in case you want to help the channel. But you don't have to. You just being here actually is a donation to me. So. Sometimes we ain't going to always agree. We're going to agree to disagree, but I always have to give that disclaimer because some people jump in the comments and they, if you're new here, just understand. I'm going to say some things you might not like, but just stick with me because you might say some things I might not like in the comments, but I ain't going to delete you. As long as you don't be disrespectful to people, everything will be fine. So look, man, we're going to get into it. Let's get it. Uh, you already know the links is going to be in the description. <laughs> and let's get it. Trying. DJ Head, you've been on the record that, you know, with all respect to Not Like Us being the big hit record that it is, it's probably the biggest fucking record of the year. It's now the greatest diss song of all time. It's beat hit him up. It's over. Unbelievable. But it's happened. Euphoric. All right. So let's, let's, let's give a little backstory about Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson is a journalist. He's a hip hop journalist. He's he interviewed a lot of people. I don't think he ever interviewed Kendrick Lamar, but he interviewed Drake. He interviewed a couple of people. You know what I'm saying? He is he is uh, he well he was respected to the fullest. Now I think most people kind of on the fence about him, but a lot of times I think that because he likes Drake so much that he be doing some biased things. And saying certain things that you can kind of take as him talking out the side of his neck, two sides of his neck. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like he he says little things and it's kind of borderline disrespect, but you can't really say he's very slick. He's a journalist, so he's very slick with words. I wouldn't say he's a journalist. I'll just say he's he's somebody that that interviews if hip hop people. He's an interviewer, hip hop interviewer. I don't I don't think he's a journalist. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I that's what that's what kind of what he does. Fast forward to today or to now, I'm starting to notice that he has a real disdain for not like us for some reason. Maybe because of what what is said in the song about Drake and he's and he he is, I would say, friends with or not even say friends, but he's with Drake. He's on Drake's side for the most part in this battle. And I think that. He doesn't like the fact that he's not saying this, but I feel like he does not like the fact that that song has blown up that much. And it got some type of, it's some things in that song that can damage Drake and it actually damage Drake. So, yeah. So that's what it is. I forgot to tell you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If this is uh, y'all here, good morning. I love y'all. Good morning. Let's go. Yeah. Another great Kendrick Lamar mm. record. Ooh, let's jump with the... <laughs> I like how you do that, actually. That's it my favorite. <laughs> it's interesting that that record... I guess it was submitted. Was it submitted? It was submitted also. I have no knowledge of I think it was submitted for consideration. I think they said it was, yeah. Yeah. 
that Sam all Ray's the nominations up. went to Not Like Us and Not That Song, which that feels more, let's say, Grammy friendly. Best rap performance. Why? Yeah. Because it because because doesn't have salacious content like <laughs> pedophilia <laughs> allegations and things of that nature, right? I, so his, this is what I was just saying about him. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff he does. So let me run this back a little bit, and I want y'all to hear what he said. Grammy friendly best rap performance. Why? Yeah. Because it because because it doesn't have salacious content like <laughs> pedophilia <laughs> allegations and things of that nature, right? I, so history lessons about it. So basically, what he's saying here is Euphoria should have been nominated over Not Like Us because it's more of the friend the radio friendly song. It's not a song that actually is a uh, promoting. Uh, something about someone that he believes is alleged. You know what I'm saying? This is what he's saying. Me personally, I'm, I could go down a list of songs that were Grammy nominated from other genres that was like, yeah, if you read into the song, it's like, really? You know what I'm saying? So I think what he's doing here is he's setting it up to where he can say Not Like Us is a disrespectful song and it shouldn't be nominated. Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Wop, like, I wop, saw something wop, back wop, in the day. Speaking of WAP, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion. Some whores that in record? this house. There's some whores in this house. You know one of your joints? You like yeah. that one? That got you through the pandemic? Nah. <laughs> I played the record. I though. saw something, Jeremy, you can check. I think Cardi did not submit that record for the Grammys because she didn't want the backlash of winning a Grammy for that type of record, right? That she would Get the fuck out of here. Get up out of here. There's no way in the world you saying that right now. I don't even know if Cardi said that, but we just gonna go off of you saying that. Get get up out of here with that. They was on they was on stage, her and Meg Thee Stallion on stage in front of people at I guess it, I don't know what was the BT Awards or the Grammy Awards, one of them award shows. They was literally scissoring on stage. You sitting here saying that she didn't want to submit the song because she didn't want the backlash, but they were scissoring on stage, dog. What are you talking about? They were literally doing this on stage in front of everybody and the kids and everybody. How you saying she got this moral compass now? Now she all of a sudden she wants to uh not uh, not put the song out because it's going to look bad. She got a whole performance with Meg Thee Stallion when they on stage together. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yes, was concerned about internet backlash and reaction and conservative criticism. Why is Kendrick now not concerned that, to me, now, no matter how you look at it, as history goes on years from now, this whole battle is going to be defined by one record called Not Like Us. That's so why is Kendrick... No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. That's to you because that record hit you. It hit you hard. No, it's not. It's going to be defined by him smoking Drake. It's not going to be defined by one record. No, it's not. It's going to be defined by four records. It took four records for him to uh, knock Drake off his pedestal. That's what it's going to be defined by. Because Euphoria is still in rotation. Still in rotation, dog. I'll give it up. Not Like Us is the bigger record, obviously. But outside of that, all four of them records from Euphoria 616, uh, Meet the Grams, and uh, uh, Not Like Us, and I would even go and say it like that. All five of those records, bro. It, that run, that run right there, he literally could put out an EP and it'll go platinum. That run right there is better than everybody's project this year. That one run right there. I don't, me personally, I'll be honest with y'all. The more this battle goes on, even ain't even going on, but the more this, the year goes on, the more I forget about all the songs Drake did. Even even Family Matters. I don't think none of those songs Drake did aged well. None of them are actually that good now to me. I listen to I listen to everything and I listen to them. And they're not that good anymore. They don't even stick to me. Like Euphoria, uh uh six one, especially six one six. All those songs is no good to me no more. Absolutely no good. comfortable standing on that record as being the like with the content it has the record it's the best record it's the biggest record it's the fit it's the kill shot it's the it's the finishing move yeah
Did you play Mortal Kombat? No. In Mortal Kombat is, you know, you finish him. And that's, you know, that's it. I think that's the only reason. The thing is. That's how you know this dude is out of touch. You never played Mortal Kombat? Bro, where you been at? I, I, I don't trust a person who, who doesn't, who never, who never played Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, or never even seen it. I don't know, maybe, maybe he may, he never uh, played it, but he probably seen it. But he was saying, like, he don't know what it is. But sometimes I feel like some of these people, they so out of touch and they live in their own bubble. It's like, I don't know how old Elliot Wilson is, but obviously he's probably in his 50s, maybe. And you telling me that you never played Mortal Kombat? You never played? Maybe he doesn't play video games. I don't know, but I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know, but either way, um, yeah, it is definitely is the finishing move. That definitely is the finishing move. I, I, I don't understand how um, he 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 don't understand why this record. Like, are, what are we doing? Are we going off of? And it's the question I would have for Elliot: Are we going off of the content of these songs? Because if that's the case, then there's a lot of people who would never get awards. Or are we going off of Drake? Because you're going to go off of, and this is because it's against Drake. You're going to go off the content of the song. But there's songs who won, won Grammy Awards where they literally are talking about killing people. And you're and, and it's okay to say that. That's a normal thing. But outside of that, you saying something about Drake, obviously calling him a name in a song that's a battle song, you shouldn't have did that because that's, out of pocket. That's way too much to do. But all these other songs where people were actually talking about doing stuff to people, yeah, you could you can win a Grammy for that. Like, come on, bro. Euphoria is a great record. Like, I, you know, I've advocated, uh, coped for that record, um, but not like it's nothing. There was nothing like this phenomenon. The Dodgers were playing it, spraying champagne on each other. <laughs> I don't know if we have to pause there. Yeah, I was pause? thinking about it. We the can leave it. They you know said we're too, we're too misogynistic, we so we won't pause that one. The, the, the the, like, bro, you got to think about this, bro. Like, it's just, there's nothing, there's been nothing, anything not named Shibuzi, there's been nothing this year. See, what me my theory when I said this, uh, that it has the side of unification, right? Like, Correct. No, no one wants to say that part, right? Correct. And even, I, didn't, I caught heat when I said that shit. Now, this speaks to my accountability later on. I caught heat. I mean... I mean, if you're saying it's a sign of unification, like I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with that to a certain extent. I'm agreeing with that. I think not like us definitely uh, saying they not like us. Like obviously saying they not like us. So whoever feels as though they they not like us, like who is us? It could be anybody. That's why that that hook is so genius because it's a song that basically. Anybody can apply to any. You could be your family and playing playing the game of life and saying against another family and saying they're not like us. I don't know if y'all ever play, heard, played the game of life or the game Monopoly. I meant to say Monopoly, but or Family Feud. They're not like us. Like either way, you can always apply that to anything. It's a genius song. When I said that, that he turned the negative into a positive in that sense of unification, yeah. power of the West Coast. A lot of this kind of stuff that we, with hip hop history, we talked a little earlier before we got on mic about, you know, the tension at times or like the West not being accepted the same way because East Coast started hip hop at the time, right? So it speaks to all that, right? Yeah. And also, you got to think about it too. From the unification perspective, it definitely did galvanize a whole region. I call it the Great Canadian Unifier. <laughs> Um, Actually, I got it, and I got a theory too, Jeremy. And it's like, you tell me if you agree with me or not. Okay. I think as time's going on, it's not even about the the pedophile shit as much as it's not. To me, that did, that never that never. I remember in real time that almost landed, right? I remember going to get some coffee and like the bar. Those it was a bar. We call them Bartistas. Bartista. Barista. What do you mean it almost landed? What do you mean? Like that whole song landed. Whatever he talked about in that song. There are people who really believe, and because of good for good evidence, that Drake does do things with 
with uh, minors. Of, he is a PDF. It's the people that believe that. You said it would have landed. How? What you mean it would have landed? To you, because you probably don't believe it, but there's there's people who literally believe that because they've seen the footage of him and the 17-year-old girl. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't I don't understand how people just don't be honest. I think I think sometimes they want to conveniently forget things and they want to they want to soften Drake up like he's a pillow. Like they just want to soften him up, squeeze him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand why they just do this to do this to for this dude. I have no idea why a lot of these so-called journalists do this. It's so crazy to me. Barista. Yeah. Barista. Yeah, 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 I was thinking of the wrestler. I think Batista. Batista. Dave Batista. Dave Batista. A barista? A barista, <laughs> yes. A Caucasian barista gentleman that I have a coffee shop I frequent. Yeah. Uh was like, Elliot, man, you know, what's up with this? Drake? Is it true? Is it true? Like he's all his world shattered that Drake could be a real creepy guy, allegedly, right? Yeah. Like his world. So in real time, I think when that song first came out. There was a little of that going on of like, oh, my God, like, is there something we don't know about this guy? Like, is it like we know he dates young women, but is uh, everybody like, is there something creepy going on here? Right. In real life. It's a, this is so, uh, you know, a lot of these dudes are so disingenuous. It's so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me how disingenuous some of these dudes are. So let me get this right, Elliot. Let me get this right. You are supposed to be a journalist and you supposed to provide facts. And things that happen. But for some reason, you don't want to look into the past or certain things that Drake said in his lyrics and certain things that Drake did and certain things that people directly connect this man to. You don't want to look into that. That's all alleged. You don't want to look into that. You want to bring that up. You could have easily said, well, there's some guy in this in, in this barista bar, barista bar, whatever it's called. There's some guy who said this to me and i said to him well it is it, it is i'm not going to say there's some credible things but there's some people who actually did point out some things that you know it might be something there i don't know i haven't seen it from my own eyes but there's some certain things and then there's the video of him on stage with a 17 year old and i'm not saying he did anything i'm just saying people have the people have a good a, a, a good right to say what they say because there's some things out there you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand it. I just don't. And then I think that slowly died down. And now I think it's like, if anything landed from that record in terms of, like, content, it's the third verse about Atlanta, colonizer type stuff. Like, this, the problem this guy lacks of understanding culture and how things move, right? That landed. And then he makes records with people from Atlanta. He's in the This guy bugging. You're bugging. The A minor bar? What? The, the certified lover boy, certified pedophiles, what, 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 what? What? You saying that that didn't land? You are saying that if, if anything, no, bro, the record's been out for six months and people are still playing it. How you saying it didn't land is beyond me. I don't understand how you say that that didn't land. And you literally came on here talking about that first. How can you say that that didn't land? And you're saying, why would he submit that song? When those lyrics stand out, not the not the colonizer part, because that part obviously you said that it, that that really doesn't bother you. But the other part, you literally came on here and said this. This is why I said a lot of these so-called journalists just be talking. They just be talking because they got mouths. I don't understand it. He's in the bleaches with Lotto and shit from fucking history, you know, the history. Like, so that landed to me. Like, I feel like it's become less and less about that wild accusation and that just seems like cheap shots and you know humor and like low blow and just comedy of it and people not taking it seriously where the other part of it the Atlanta shit and the character assassination and what he means in hip-hop and his place in hip-hop that's held to me I think it's that's held more in the hip-hop world but I will say is I speak to the whites outside of the hip hop world sometimes. Different world. So they're still on that. They, I mean, there's people who are like, uh, they're like, you know, it, Drake might be a, a pedophile. Drake might is Drake. Yeah, see, I like caught that they, early, yeah. they don't because yeah. they they haven't dug into all this stuff and they haven't. They don't even really know maybe the other songs in the battle. Maybe they just heard not like us and they're just like, what is? I think there are people that are like, what's happening in hip hop? I think we've kind of all agreed to move past the wild allegations on both sides for the most part. Yeah. And just let it be about the music. I, I think that people have gotten over it for the most. I don't know about that. I don't know about. I don't know about 
I don't know about people saying like sometimes I feel like a lot of y'all be playing, y'all be straddling the fence and y'all so afraid to say what it is. I like DJ Head because he does say how it is and what it is. But these other two dudes, I mean, I ain't gonna say the other two dudes, but the other dude did they did do a show and he did say it's not like us, the greatest diss song of all time. And they said no. And it turns out, Not Like Us is the greatest diss song of all time. So I got to give him props for that. But yeah, Elliot, man, sometimes I feel like Elliot just be, he just be just saying anything sometimes. And I think he he wants it to be, I think that he, I think Elliot feels like the game has been rigged against Drake. And this song is, he wants to minimize it by saying some of the, the lyrics or some of the some of the things don't really matter now. But then at the same time, you're saying, well, why would he submit that record? If the if the lyrics don't matter, then uh, some of the lyrics don't matter, then why do you care if they submit the record, Elliot? It don't matter. Like you said, it does, those lyrics don't didn't really land. So why would it matter if he submitted it? It's fine, hip hop. That's that's my theory. But what do you think? <laughs> why are you why are you smiling like that? That's really the question. Um, the the not like us phenomenon was a unifier for a region sonically and content wise, right? Yes, sir. The feel, the vibe, the movement, the tempo, the, all of the things. Again, I can't speak on certain things, but I will say, um, if you are from west of Texas, have your affairs in order. There's a tidal wave coming. Be ready. Stay right. on stream. Stay on stream. That's why there's so many West Coast projects dropping right now. It's like everybody's trying to get theirs before uh, the tsunami. <laughs> Have you heard any of the tsunami? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess he's alluding to Kendrick is going to be dropping soon, and there's some songs that's coming. Um, uh, probably the Broccoli Joint. Um. I, me personally, I think he could be saying like, uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's saying. I'm just saying like something big is coming. And I guess that's what he's alluding to. And he's basically saying like, y'all think y'all heard something. Wait, wait until y'all hear the rest. Like, and I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> I like how you phrase it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, listen, I've heard records of different individuals that are from California. Any that are from Compton? I've heard records from people from Compton. Any that are... Don't start that broccoli thing. Don't start it now, Jeremy. Hey, did did he respond? Can you just tell me if he responded to to the text that you sent him with my DM? No, he did not respond. God damn it. He he didn't didn't respond to the text I sent him about you, no. No, he didn't. (laughs) What was your interpretation of the the Kendrick line when it dropped? Who was the first one? All right, yeah, so I'm in the day. Make sure y'all go watch, you know... uh, the rest of this guy's podcast. Uh, I'm going to leave his link in the description. Uh, all that good stuff. Hey, man. Yeah, thank y'all for being here with me, man. I know sometimes y'all got to wake up early in the morning, man. And it's 8 o'clock. Y'all got to catch me on time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always going to be here. But anyway, um, yeah, man. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't co-sign these things that Elliot be saying. You know what I'm saying? I can't. And there's another clip that he said about Ether. He said that, do you believe that Nas uh, would have submitted Ether uh, or something to that effect? I, I, it wasn't on this clip. And um, I'm just going to say, man, sometimes I think he just be going a little bit overboard. And he, sometimes I think he just he just be saying things that he knows is probably going to get some shock value. I don't know, but... I don't really take his uh, 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 Elliot words. I don't take none of his words seriously because he. I believe he's just actively going against not like us because not that not that he don't like the song. I think that he's like he's like one of those type of people to me who still buy DVDs. You know what I'm saying? Who don't really they don't they 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 went from VHS tapes or VCR tapes. And they didn't want to go into DVDs because they thought it was the end of the world. And then they finally said, you know what? I'm going to get these DVDs because it holds more information. It's faster. And these CDs, instead of tape decks, instead of the tape. And then 
now he's one of those type of people who do not, not to say he's like this, but the analogy stands. He don't like streaming because for some reason he feel like they're taking everything from us. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's Elliot Wilson. He's so behind on certain things. And he just like, I think he feels that way about Kendrick Lamar's uh, not like us. He don't want it to be better. Like a lot of these, a lot of these old school guys, they don't want people like, like uh, Kendrick, Cole, Drake, Tyler, uh, 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 any of these artists um, uh, to be better than the legends. Tupac, Big E, Nas, J, M, they don't want that. Kendrick Lamar had to work at least three to four times harder to be considered better than even DMX. And I love X, but I'm just saying, just using them as an analogy because there's people who are ranked higher than X. But there's some people who would think that if you say, well, who's better, DMX or, or Kendrick? And they'll say DMX. There's some people will say, um, there's certain people, people will just say they're, they're better because they're the nostalgic feeling of these people. And no, no disrespect to DMX, I'm just using him as the analogy. But uh, a lot of people like that. And I think that that's Elliot Wilson. He don't like the fact that, and I think he gives, I think he gives Drake an exception because of Drake's hits. Not necessarily uh, anything else, but if you sit down and have a conversation with him and you ask him if Kendrick Lamar, if you found out Kendrick Lamar had all writers and he wrote, somebody wrote all his music, would you take him out the top 10? And he would say yes. I can almost guarantee he would be like, yeah, yeah. Because it's be different. He'll say, well, he'll make an excuse of, well, well the reason why is because Kendrick, he went on saying that Drake had ghostwriters. And now we found out he got ghostwriters. So that's why he got to be out. But he will literally give Drake a pass. I mean, Fun Master Flex said that he think Drake did rap. He rapped better than Kendrick and he had better bars than Kendrick. But Funk Master Flex years ago was saying how, how Drake sh shouldn't be counted as being in the top anything because he doesn't write his material. You see how this works? See how people, they jump on sides because it's, it's good for them. And I think for some people, Drake has a lot of pull and they're so afraid to say something because he might say something that might damage them to the point where people stop listening to them. And oh, I'm not listening to him because Drake said, but he can't really do that to Joe, Joe Button. I said it right this time, Joe Button. Now I'm from Jersey and we usually say Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons even know, I said it again, Joe Button even know that people say Joe Buttons. They all, everybody says that. So he might as well just put an S on the end of his name because everybody says Joe Buttons. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in Jersey says Joe Buttons. They don't say Joe Button. He knows that. You know what I'm saying? So um, for, for uh, somebody like Joe Button, he's one of those type of people that he doesn't care because he does this for a living. He don't care if Drake has uh, something to say about himself. And I think a lot of them are kind of afraid. But either way, man, thank y'all for being here with me, man. I appreciate y'all. And y'all have yourself a good day. 12 o'clock show coming up. Appreciate y'all, man, for being here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.